Hello, I am Aniket from Tarkashastra Academy. In this video, we are going to look at all the important news or current affair questions that can be asked from the news that are uh, there in October 2022. It is recommended that you keep a note of all the uh, current affair news in a separate register. Only then you will be able to revise it and then uh, remember it in the actual exam. Okay. So the first news is Kazakhstan changes capital's name from Nur Sultan back to Astana. Kazakhstan's president Kasim Jomrat Tokayev is to restore the former name of the country's capital Astana just three years after it renamed after he renamed it in honor of his predecessor. The name was changed to Nur Sultan in March 2019 in honor to outgoing president Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. So, Kazakhstan will now rename it to Astana. New debit card, credit card rules kick in with tokenization. So, this is an important news. Can be asked in financial uh, general awareness. The rules and regulation of online payment for debit and credit card have been changed. The Reserve Bank of India's Card on file tokenization norms came into effect on 1st October 2022. RBS UF tokenization aims to improve the payment experience of cardholders. The new rule realize, released by RBS says that neither businesses nor payment aggregators can solve customer card details, can save customer card details on their platform. The card details can only be saved by card network or issuing banks. Tokenization has replaced sensitive card information, including card number and card expiry, with cryptographically generated random strings. Once the card is tokenized, the generated card can, token can be used for processing payments as a substitute for card details. The tokenized card eliminates the risk of loss of sensitive card information. Indoor gets India's cleanest city tag for six times in a row, such as Survection Awards. Indoor back the title of India's cleanest city for the sixth time in a row as the results of the central government's annual cleanliness service such as Survection Award 2022 were announced. Madhya Pradesh secured the first position in category of best performing states followed by Chhattisgarh and Maharashtra. Surat is the second cleanest city and Navi Mumbai comes a close third in the category of the cities with population of more than a lakh. Nobel Prize 2022. Now, Nobel Prizes were declared. It is, uh, and they were declared for physics and medicine and all those. So, keep a note of this. These are important topics, or these are the topics on which questions can be asked. So, all the news, there are multiple news, and then there are multiple sources from where you can study the current affairs. But then we have handpicked those news just to open question. Okay. So, Nobel Prize 2022. Swante Pabo awarded Nobel Prize in Medicine. The Nobel Prize 2022 for Medicine or Physiology was awarded to the Swedish geneticist Swante Pabo. Swante Pabo was given the award for his discoveries concerning the genomes of extinct hominins and human evolution, the Nobel Prize Committee. Considered the most prestigious award in the scientific world, it is awarded by the Nobel Assembly of Sweden's Karolinska Institute and is worth 10 million Swedish crowns. Nobel Prize in Physics 2022 announced. The Royal Swedish Academy of... Now, this is important. Huh? How much is awarded? So, 10 million Swedish crowns are awarded, which is approximately $90,000. Okay, and given by Sweden. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences announced the Nobel Prizes in Physics 2022 was awarded to Alien Aspect France, John F. Clauser, USA, and Anton Zellinger, Austria, for their work on quantum mechanics. Actor Pankaj Tripathi declared National icon by Election Commission of India. Election Commission of India is creating awareness amongst voters. Actor Pankaj Tripathi has been declared as a national icon of ECI. 
rest of india beats saurashtra by 8 wickets to win irani trophy the rest of india's side won the irani uh, title after beating ranji trophy champion of 2019 2020 the saurashtra by 8 wickets in rajkot so this is very important the uh, irani trophy is played between rest of india and ranji trophy champions okay after our uh, rest of india chased down the 105 run target with abhu manju ishwaran remained undefeated for on 63 runs while adding 81 runs and kona bharat not out at 27 nobel prize 2022 human rights campaigners in ukraine russia and belarus awarded nobel prize 2022 alice bialyski a human rights defender from belarus who is now in kaiserated memorial a russian human rights organization okay so who is now in kaiserated the next is memorial a russian human rights organization and center of civil liberties and a Europe, ukrainian human rights organization have all been jointly given the years this year's nobel prize for democracy so the three parties are first is this ls realistic ski then memorial a russian human rights organization and ukrainian human rights organization tine yes next isro chandrayaan 2 spectrometer maps abundance of sodium on moon for first time chandrayaan 2 orbiter's x-ray spectrometer class has mapped an abundance of sodium on the moon for the first time as per the india space research organization isro chandrayaan 1's x-ray uh, fluorescent spectrometer c1xs detected sodium from its characteristic line in x-rays this opened up the possibility of mapping the amount of sodium on the moon india hosts sco joint anti terror drill to enhance operational capabilities the national security guard is hosting the multinational joint anti terror anti terror exercise jate under the shanghai cooperation organization sco regional anti terrorist structure rats at nsg manesar garrison Stage one of the exercise was conducted on twenty seventh of July to first August twenty twenty two by the National Terrorist Forces of SCO members countries in their respective territories. Hero Motor Corp launched EV scooter Vida One in India. Hero Motor Corp launched Vida One electric scooter in India. The Vida One electric scooter is commenced to be booked for two four nine nine in India. the bookings are open for delhi jaipur and bangalore only the hero motor club vidavan electric scooter will be available in the phases for the customer and deliveries will start in the second week of december 2022 vidavan vida v1 is highly customizable customizable and comes in two variants vida v1 plus and vida v1 pro 1983 world cup hero roger binney said to replace saurav ganguly as bcci president India's 1983 World Cup hero Roger Binney is set to become the new BCCI president, replacing Saurav Ganguly. Binney will assume charge on October 18 when BCCI annual general meeting will be held in Mumbai. Hollywood actor Tom Cruise became became first actor to film in outer space. Hollywood actor Tom Cruise, who is renowned for pulling off high octane stunts. in his project is taking things to the next level and may soon become the first actor to shoot in space the top gun actor is has reportedly partnered with director dog gleeman on a project that calls for him to perform a space walk abdul latif rashid elected as president of iraq the iraqi parliament chose khurshid politician abdul latif rashid to lead the country Rashid won more than 160 votes against 99 for the incumbent Saleh. Rashid, 78, is a British-educated engineer and was the Iraqi Minister of Water Resources from 20, 2003 to 2010. Outgoing President Saleh reportedly walked out of the parliament 
building as the voters were telling, as the votes were telling. Times Higher Education Ranking 2023, IISC tops among Indian universities. Times Higher Education Ranking 2023 has been announced. This year, the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore has secured the top place among Indian universities. Five Indian universities made it to the world top 500 where cities ISC has been placed under the 251 to 300 bracket. Globally, the University of Oxford continued to retain the top spot in the seventh for the seventh consecutive year, while University of Cambridge jumped to joint third from joint fifth last year. The US is the most represented country overall with 177 institutions in the overall ranking, ranking list. Indian Army signs MOU with 11 banks for Agnivir salary accounts. Indian Army signed MOU with 11 banks for providing banking facilities to Agnivirs on enrollment. Now, this is a big news and a lot of data is included here. The banks are State Bank of India, Punjab National Bank, Bank of Baroda, IDBI, ICCI, HDFC, Axis, Yes Bank, Kotak, Mahindra, IDFC First, and Bandhan Bank. The features and benefits offered under the Agnivir salary package are similar to the defense salary package. The banks are or the banks have offered soft loan to existing Agnivirs to promote and enhance their entrepreneurial skills. From January 2025, the first batch of Agnivirs will join the training centers under the Agnipat scheme. On 14th June, the Agnipat scheme was announced to provide recruitment of youth between the age of 17 to 21 years for four years. The scheme provides provision to retain 25% of them for more for 15 more years. Okay, so Usme se 25% will be retained for 15 more years. The government, however, extended the upper age limit of 23 years for recruitment in 2022. Next, India to host 90th General Assembly of Interpol. The 90th General Assembly of Interpol is going to be held in New Delhi from 18th October to 21st of October 2022. The 90th General Assembly of Interpol will have the world's largest police body with 195 members. The General Assembly is the international policing organization's top governing body and meets once a year to take important decisions. The meeting will be attended by 2,000 overseas dignitaries including ministers, police chiefs, police officers, and support staff. The General Assembly is taking place in India after 25 years. The last General Assembly was held in the year 1997. This was initiated by the Union Home Minister Amit Shah to Interpol Secretary General George Stock. Okay, so Interpol Secretary is General George Stock. Saran, the festival of India in Republic of Korea. The eighth edition of annual flagship cultural program of Embassy of India, Seoul, Saran. Seoul, Saran, the festival of India in Republic of Korea will be held from September 30th through October 14, 2022 in offline mode at various locations across the country after a two-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Starting in 2015, Saran has emerged as a prominent Indian cultural festival. The word Saran has a very meaningful interpretation for both Koreans and Indians. Saran in Korean means love and for Indian it refers to diversity representing different colors of India. ICAS Bharti Das named as the new controller general of accounts. Okay, so she is the new CGA. Okay, the government of India has appointed Bharti Das, an officer of Indian Civil Account Services of 1988 batch as the Controller General of Accounts, Department of Expenditure, Ministry of Finance. She is the 27th Controller General of Accounts, Ministry of Finance. Alexia Putilisas, Putilisas Karin Banzema, win 2022 Ballon d'Or Awards. Real Madrid's Karin Banzema, a professional 
French footballer has won the men's Ballon d'Or Golden Ball Award 2022 and becomes the fifth Frenchman to win the prize. Barcelona's Alexia Putillas, a Spanish professional footballer, has won the women's Ballon d'Or uh, Award or Ballon d'Or Feminine Award for the second time. India Gate Basmati Rice recognized at world's number one Basmati Rice brand. Okay. So, India Gate, the flagship brand of KRBL, has been recognized as the world's number one Basmati Rice brand in market study conducted by leading global research company. Okay. Malikarjun Kharge elected as the new Congress president. Veteran Karnataka leader Malikarjun Kharge elected, defeated his rival Shashi Tharu to become the first non Gandhi. Congress president in 24 years and the first scheduled caste chief of the Grand Old Organization in four years. Guinness World Record officially declares Monday worst day of the week. Guinness World Record has officially declared Monday as the worst day of the week after Guinness World Records move all of that. Uh, uh, all of that will no longer be smooth, smoothened over into a wishy washy. Monday Blues packet. It's real now. Going into Monday means you are going into the officially declared and universally accepted worst day of the week. Now you could blame your general grumpiness on it being Monday. Pakistan removed from FATF grey list of terror financing. Uh, Pakistan has been removed from the grey list of grey list of uh, the Financial Action Task Force, the Paris-based global watchdog on money laundering and terrorist financing. Pakistan was placed in the grey list in 2020, 2018 for failing to keep a check on money laundering and terrorist financing. Besides Pakistan, Nicar Nicaragua was removed from the FATF's grey list, while Democratic Republic of the Congo, Tanzania and Mozambique were added to the list. Myanmar was added to the FATF blacklist. Okay, so Myanmar were added to the blacklist. And then Congo, Tanzania and Mozambique were added to the grey list. And Pakistan and Nicaragua were removed. Rishi Sunak, youngest UK PM in two centuries, takes office. Uh, Rishi Sunak to take oath as PM of UK. Rishi Sunak will be named as the PM of UK and he will be the first British Prime Minister of Indian descent. In a remarkable shift of power during an economic crisis, in the midst of deep economic dilemma, the future PM of UK, Rishi Sunak, has called for cooperation. Honesty shops has been opened in Kerala. Honesty shops have been opened in 15 schools in Ernakulam district of Kerala. The honesty shops are part of Student Police Cadets SPC project, which aims to provide valuable lessons on truth and integrity for students. In these honesty shops, there is no salesman at the counter and students can drop the money for each item in the collection box kept in the shop. The honesty shop has been launched under the Student Police Cadet. Diwali to be a public school holiday in New York City from 2023. Diwali, Diwali will be a holiday for the New York City public school starting from next year in 2023. Mayor Eric Adams announced Adams joined Adams joined by New York Assembly member Jennifer Rajkumar, who had introduced the legislation to recognize Diwali as a holiday. World's dirtiest man, Amo Haji, dies in Iran at 94. Amo Haji, uh, an Iranian man dubbed the dirtiest man of the world, died at the age of 94 in the village of Dejga in the southern province of Fars. He was so called because he had not washed for almost 70 years and he believed that staying dirty kept him alive for so long. Owing to his unique record, a short documentary titled The Strange Life of Amo Haji was made in 2013 describing his life. Z Sony merger. Groups agree to sell three Hindi channels to address anti competition concerns. Sony and Z Media groups have voluntarily agreed to sell their three Hindi channels 
बिग मैजिक जी एक्शन एंड जी क्लासिक to address possible anti competition concern arising out of their proposed mega merger deal sony and z have submitted their proposal to the competition Co commission of india cci they have issued a 58 page long detailed order which informs that the two groups have agreed to divest big magic which is a hindi general entertainment channel as well as z action and z classic so these were the complete uh, current affair news from the month of october 2022 i hope you have taken down the notes and you revise it regularly thank you so much jai hind